welcome to your next lecture in computer science for everyone. Continuing with computer parts, this time we're going to talk about the RAM or random access memory. The random access memory is a set of boxes or cells as we call them and each of these cells has the value 1 or 0 in them. These are stored in enormous arrays like this one where the cells are, are grouped in a, in, a, in a list, a sequential list, where one comes after another. And then these are the actual rows in the RAM. So the RAM is stored as a set of stacked, of those, a stacked group of those lists, which makes a table. In order to access any of these cells, we need the column and the row number in which the cell lives. That's how we access the data in the RAM. Um, but how much data do we actually have in a computer? Because we don't have 20 boxes like we have here. We have a few more. Let's take a look. This is going to be a bit complicated at first, but just listen to what I'm saying and try to not look ahead uh, in a lot of detail or else you might get confused. The first thing we have at the top left is the prefix, which we see kilobyte is the first row. The value of this uh, kilobyte is 2 to the power of 10 bytes. This is because kilo means 2 to the power of 10 and then we have byte which is just a byte. So kilobyte is 2 to the power of 10 bytes. Going into the next row, megabyte is 2 to the power of 20 bytes. Gigabyte is 2 to the power of 30 bytes and terabyte is 2 to the power of 40 bytes. How much is a byte? A byte is eight of those cells that you've seen in the previous slide. So each one of those cells holds a one or a zero value. One, one or zero equals a bit. So one bit is the smallest piece of information you can have in a computer. It's e either a one or a zero. So a kilobyte is two to the power of 10 bytes. One byte is eight bits. So 2 to the power of 10 times 8 is 8,192. So 2 to the power of 10 is 1,024. The next row, megabyte, its value is 2 to the power of 20, and it is 1,024 kilobytes. The following line, gigabyte, is 1,024 megabytes. And the last one, terabyte, is 1,024 gigabytes. This is kind of what I wanted you to get from this slide, is to see how it is 1,024 of the previous one that makes each of the, um, let's say, let's call them prefixes or values. So a kilobyte is 1,024 bytes. A megabyte is 1,024 kilobytes, a gigabyte is 1,024 megabytes, and a terabyte is 1,024 gigabytes. So to summarize, one byte is 8 bits, and then each of the other ones are 1,024 of the one above. So going back to the question I asked you before, how many RAM cells do we have? Because we don't have 20. We have a few more. Let's, have a, let's take a look at a computer with 4 gigabytes of RAM as an example. This is pretty much the standard nowadays, although it will soon increase to 8 or 16 gigabytes as the standard. 1 gigabyte is 2 to the power of 30 bytes, as we saw in our table. This is 1 million, seven, oh, sorry, 1 billion, 73 million, 741,824 bytes. We multiply that by 4 to get 4 gigabytes. And this is starting to be a pretty big number of bytes. Remember, 1 byte is 8 bits, so we still have to multiply this number by 8 to get the number of bits. Because one cell in the RAM stores 1 bit, this number of bits is the number of cells we have in RAM. Which is 34 billion cells, 34 and a half billion cells. It is a lot of cells. And they're stored in a tiny seven or eight centimeter um, sort of module inside your motherboard. So that is quite interesting how that how, how small that is. Um, but that's not the focus of this lecture. Just realize how we have bits, bytes, kilobytes, 
mega, giga, and terabytes, and how 1,024 of each is the previous one, except for byte, which is 8 bits. That is what I wanted you to get from this, which is essentially this table. This is the objective of this lecture. So if you found this interesting, stick with me until the next lecture, and I'll see you in the next one.